Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Connors here again today with your Members Minute. Today we're going to continue our talk on uh, Lyme disease and the struggle that we have with Lyme disease. So in my classification of Lyme disease, we really have three types of Lyme. So we have, what do we have? Acute Lyme. Acute Lyme is I just got bitten by a deer tick and it's in the acute phase, it's in the bacterial phase. In this phase, I always recommend that people get antibiotic therapy. This is where antibiotics are good. That's a gigantic blessing. We can deal with the gut problems that you have with antibiotics later. We don't want this to go into a chronic phase. Antibiotic therapy, absolutely. Number two, if you miss it here, which many times you do, people don't get the sickness. People's that the window of opportunity of killing it for an antibiotic can be very short in different people. It goes into a chronic phase. So the chronic phase can be called the spirochete phase. This is where it goes intracellular. Intra means within. So it goes inside the cell and it hides. So even if I take antibiotics at this point, antibiotics are only going to kill what's in the bloodstream. It's not going to kill what's inside the cell. So it goes inside the cell, it's not killed, and you think you got better, and it becomes a chronic disorder, and it becomes miserable. Well, there is a third phase that gets worse, sorry, gets worse. That's the third phase, and that's the autoimmune line case. Autoimmunity means your body is attacking self tissue. Well, why in the case of Lyme disease, when your immune system is fired in the general vicinity where the Borrelia bacteria have been found, have been located, your immune system is trying to kill them. The, remember, it goes intracellular, so that Borrelia bacteria is intracellular in a spirochete viral-like phase. Your immune system isn't able to find it when it fires a Th2 response, that's that other side of the immune system, you start to make antibodies against your own tissue cells. So you start to have an autoimmune reaction. Your immune system is now attacking self tissue in the attempt to kill the pathogens. That's not a good thing. Most people that have chronic Lyme disease and know they're sick, they have all this, these disorders, all these symptoms, are in the autoimmune phase. And they are Th1 dominant. We'll talk about that on another video. Very, very important. That's why they're not able to get better, because they're taking Th1 stimulants and it's causing more problem. That's your member minute for today. Thank you very much.